Okay, everybody, and welcome to another episode of On the Wrist from Off the Cuff. So I have a really cool segment for you uh, from Nevada Grenchen and Analog Shift. A little bit about Nevada. Uh, they were originally founded back in 1926 and then later revived in 2018. Their core idea is to respect as much as possible the original designs and stick to authentic specifications while offering affordable prices. Uh, they have a main goal to provide uh, really what the Nevada and vintage watch aficionados are asking asking for and this is within that space this is their chrono master and it's a special version of that but the cool thing about the chrono master which i've actually featured here on the channel before is it fits so many different genres it's an everyday watch being sporty legible and tough it's a chronograph with those external pushers to have, have activate timing functions with multiple sub dials to measure elapsed time um you know with these additional scales that fit the sub genre of a dive watch so you're going to get water resistance you're going to get something that's again that tough legible uh, you're getting a dive time bezel also with the addition of a 12 hour travelers bezel uh, in terms of the insert scales there so very nice so this is the analog shift chronomaster big eye yachting limited edition and in the spirit of those vintage regatta timers analog shift really uh partnered and paired with nevada to create something very very cool um, especially considering that yeah nevada has a great reputation for creating some of the most capable tool watches on the market designed with a nod of course to their vintage predecessors this piece is limited to just 100 units and you can actually get this directly from uh, the analog shift web shop for 19.95 so just under two grand and this thing is an absolute spec monster uh, just like you would expect but also uh, it looks pretty darn awesome I love the balance I love the theme here and the execution of the big eye style with uh, the great summertime kind of on the water maritime vibes they've done here with the color palette so with all that said let's go ahead zoom the camera out get this piece in hand and take a closer look Whew, guys this is absolutely a stunner my gosh just look at that dial uh, the color palette the ghosted gray bezel insert the pops of blue and yellow over this opaline silver visually white dial and then of course you're also getting the great running seconds hand there within that kind of more traditional one eye panda style and then these great baton i mean just everything about it it is just let's let's also do this let's just get this running while we're here give you a little bit more visual play on the dial but my gosh this is just such a fantastic looking piece and as you guys know if you've watched the channel you know it's actually a fantastic the executed piece as well but this one i'm happy to report check this out guys updated clasp fully milled push button thanks forstener um <laughs> Look at that. This beads of rice is fantastic. And I know some of you might not like the male end link style on the, uh, you know, four beads of rice, but I will say with such a short and compact body, I think it works here in this case would it have been cooler with a female style sure but it also would have been harder to make flow in terms of the proportions of the length of each bead and then trying to make that the same length and then have that also interact with the uh, spring bar and everything it, it just could have been a mess so i do really really like the proportions i like the beautiful taper here the finishing is immaculate guys look at the transition between brushed and polished even with the smudgy fingerprints that i've left on the high polished portions this thing still looks fantastic oh also one thing to note this was lent in by uh the team over at analog shift so big thank you and shout out to them i look forward to learning more and more about their brand uh, as we go i know they also do collaborations for storage products like from wolf so you know hopefully i get my hands on some of that stuff in the near future to share with you guys as well but i think it's only fitting that i start with one of their collaboration watches this is their first this is not their first collaboration watch but their first one to bear their logo on the dial and i think it just looks fantastic it just has that clean minimalist layout analog shift i dig it it's just it's very handsome and definitely gives you like hey this is the watch that i take to a watch meet vibes and as somebody who's in a pretty uh 
you know, uh, I'd say watch centric area. And not that San Diego County is known for its what's known for its micro brews, not its micro brands. But I will say there's a really strong, uh, you know, uh, meeting uh, community out here with the SD Chrono Group. So uh, this is totally a watch that I would want to wear to one. I mean, I'm really struggling with myself like do i can i should i try to pull the trigger and buy one of these because this thing is just gorgeous it's every and i would just immediately put this on like an anthracite tropic strap um although i love this bracelet i don't know i'm, I'm like i'm loving the bracelet so much maybe i wouldn't but i just feel like that color play would look fantastic and it would make the dial pop even more uh but let's get into some of the specs there i've been rambling a bit just kind of gushing about the design aesthetic uh so now the size 38 millimeters with a 14 millimeter height which some of you might be thinking that's quite thick but honestly for a dive watch that's not that bad especially considering the high um sapphire there uh that does have that beautiful uh double box uh double double dome box sapphire uh which is very nicely executed um and then the fact that it's also guys at the end of the day it's a chronograph so 14 millimeters for a chronograph is actually quite thin and a lot of that has to do with the fact that this is a manual wind so um then the lug to lug just 46.4 millimeters all 316L stainless steel, brushed and polished, beautifully done in terms of its execution. The sapphire does have an inner AR coating, so that's great. You can see kind of at the, just the very edges there, there's that little color hue flare, which in this case is a blue tone, which again fits the watch, which I think is great. All kind of comes together. And then the uh, bezel is bi-directional, friction fit, but it is a nice friction fit. This isn't one that's gonna accidentally move over right like i really have to just put some pressure on it uh, so if i'm wiping it off or something like that chances are i'm not going to lose anything but the nice thing is that uh you know you have quite a few options in terms of timing you even can offset for travel so if you were gonna go uh you know two hours ahead there you go you're two hours ahead so it's just kind of helps with the jack of all trades nature of this piece it's fully loaded and for those of you guys that are spending within this price point two thousand bucks and you really want to get every you know ounce of uh of value you're getting complications useful ones in terms of chronograph right you're getting a traveler's bezel you're getting waters i mean this is definitely one of those like hey we're giving you on multi tiers uh you know of a value proposition here so i think that's where nevada grinch and really shine and then you combine that with this really unique design aesthetic that analog shift was able to uh collaborate on and and i think it's a you know a real match made in heaven of course analog shift and dealing being a dealer for vintage watches that ghost faded bezel is just genius it's fantastic like i don't know if they would have ever thought of that on their own uh, but i think it looks great uh you do get a push pull crown here guys uh and i don't think that's an issue especially considering the fact that it is a manual winding watch uh you don't want to put any additional stress or wear on that so that's something and then also yeah, you don't even have screw down pushers right so at the end of the day for you to make sure that this remains waterproof you're gonna have to just pay attention to your watch and make sure that your crown is is pushed in um, and then also that you're not actuating the pushers right you know at crazy depths um, so there is a bit of responsibility on the buyer there but this thing is just gorgeous and I think you're gonna want to pay attention to a watch like this because other people are gonna want to pay attention to it when they see it uh, it just uh, the colorways it just really really pops and that big eye layout um, of course, again, for so many other reasons, right? It, it just brings a lot more to the table in terms of design. Uh, the movement inside is a Swiss mechanical Sleeta SW510 MBHB. So you're gonna get the 63 hour power reserve. It's gonna be beating at four Hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour. And of course it has the chronograph complication. Um, then getting into the case back, although you can't see the movement, really beautifully, stamped and etched and finished there guys that is just that is handsome even with a bit of sweat on it the chrono master uh you know little etching there on the outer side it's just a very handsome piece and it just feels classy and it feels really well executed just at every angle wherever you flip it again the 
this clasp my gosh it's simple it's very basic but it is finished to such a higher level than it needs to be i, I just love that um then i get into the dial opaline white matte visually you know uh quite nice printed of course uh with a lot of information there on the dial but you also are getting applied indices polished hands uh swiss superluminova getting 10 atmospheres or 100 meters of water resistance thanks to really great gasketing and seals that are being used here 20 millimeter lug width uh, and they are drilled lugs so this is going to be great solid stainless steel beads of rice bracelet that tapers down uh to 16 millimeters and then about eight and a eight 18 and a half millimeters at this milled push button folding clasp with manual micro. There's plenty of manual micro just for you to make this really fit you perfectly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't fault it. Uh, normally, there's, especially with Nevada Grinchin, which as much as I love them, there's just certain little elements that I would always kind of want to change, which is probably why I don't own one of their Chronomasters, although I do own one of their, and I or there's, there's things, I wish it had this clasp, but it has the more stamped clasp. It's one of their more explorer style watches uh but that's a bit a kind of off topic here this one is just like perfect uh but let me know what you guys think uh with that said though let's get it uh out of hand on the wrist and uh see how it wears okay guys wow on my seven and a half inch wrist this just wears absolutely beautifully guys check that out sits nice and flat beautiful wrap and drape on those lugs, very nice transitional uh, finish there with terms of the crispness of going from high polish to that satin brush, just gorgeous. And of course the taper perfectly done on this beads of rice bracelet. And then of course that nice solid milled clasp. I think this just looks great. Of course, if I do get my wrist too close to the camera lens, you're gonna get a bit of perspective distortion so what i like to do is keep my wrist nice and low and then just kind of tighten up the frame here so you can get a bit of a truer aspect ratio while still getting a nice detailed look at how this watch might lay on your own wrist but let's ooh, nice and crispy full mechanical goodness there just fantastic guys i'm really digging this one look at the way that that lays I mean, just to get a, a chronograph that fits this well or a diver that fit this well, it, it's it's a rare occasion. And to have a chronograph and a diver, right? So you're getting, in terms of having to battle against the thickness of adding water resistance, the thickness of adding complications stacked on top of the movement there, uh, you're just getting a lot uh, that just it's just refined in a way that is executed quite beautifully so with that said let's go ahead and get this off the wrist set up for some loom shots low light transition and closing thoughts okay let's go ahead and hit the lights here <laughs> as you can see hey it, it can't win in every single category but at the end of the day it still has loom and if you're thinking about it from a you know a chronograph standpoint that's actually pretty good loom for a chronograph it uh, leaves a bit to be desired for a dive watch but you got to remember this is not the type of dive watch you're going to be taking to maximum depth uh, so one thing i always like to work in of course is going to be a bit of low light transition because you're not always going to be out in the middle of a field enjoying direct sunlight a lot of times you're going to find yourself coming in and out of buildings walking underneath overhangs or maybe just hanging out underneath the shade of a tree so it's nice to see what these colors textures and finishes render like in a less than optimal lighting to maybe include some harsh lighting which typically could expose any types of production defects but all you're going to see here is you know a bit of smudging from uh, this warm summer day that i'm filming this under the hot studio lights here in southern california but my gosh this thing is gorgeous had this on uh and did a bit of on location shooting on instagram for a reel the other day and i i think i uh, uploaded it recently also uh up to youtube shorts if you guys want to check this thing out on location it looks just the business guys look at the way the light plays off of just the little detail on that running seconds dial there just gorgeous and then of course that opaline white silvery dial just 
it just grabs the light in a certain way that just has a certain softness to it. Not quite pearlescent, but there's definitely a bit of reflection back that just adds a bit of a, you know, whatever you have, precursor to a shimmer. It doesn't quite shimmer metallically, but it just has a reflective just kind of glow to it and i just like that so much so guys closing thoughts on the wrist this wears surprisingly well for a relatively stout diver super capable feeling it sits well on the wrist as well in terms of the shape the ergonomics the wrap on the wrist uh, in terms of model variants there's various automatic and hand wound options uh, you can get from nevada but this is definitely i think the one to have when it comes to uh you know all the different variations that are available this is like the one i'm digging this one this is the one that gets me the closest to saying gosh i need this for my own collection um if i had more money this would already be mine uh, but i have to be more strategic these days because i'm pretty much just doing youtube full time and you know balancing the rest of that with spending time with the family now um, in terms of model variants we covered that but uh, comparable models now honestly there's not too much competition in this space at least that i'm familiar with so let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that's out there that jumps out to you as a direct competitor to this because i feel like most of the uh you you know, competitors are either going to be a dive watch around this price, a nice premium one, or a chronograph, slightly more expensive, or if it's gonna be slightly cheaper, then it's gonna be using maybe a different type of movement and it's gonna just be less sporty. Uh, so I think there's actually a really cool niche that this has where it kind of does it all in a way where there's not even a lot of competition for others that are trying to do this much and let alone succeeding in a way that just is so beautifully executed uh, aesthetically. Now, uh, for me guys, bottom line, you know, chock full of features and capabilities, this sporty diver chrono combo somehow perfectly straddles the lines of balancing both scale and proportions to offer something that feels truly special on the wrist. And that was just the standard, you know, uh, Chrono Master. Now you put this particular colorway, this particular combination, this aesthetic, and my gosh, it just takes it to another level. Like this is uh, just, for me, the watch of the summer. Like this is a summer release jump on it while you can still get it because it is just that good so with that said let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video please do it like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys